A special shout out to my beautiful people who love to leave comments. If you want to be featured in my next video, leave a comment down below. So the joys of being unemployed. People feel like you have... Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, my beautiful people. It's Wednesday, by the way. People feel as if you have this unlimited amount of time. Like you have more than 24 hours in a day. You got more than those 24 hours they have. Obviously, my sister texts me to tell me that I needed to go run these two errands. Like she didn't know this last night. People just think I sit at home. And you know... Sometimes my family, they just believe, you know, I'm sitting on the couch on my computer doing absolutely nothing. <sighs> nothing. Not nothing. Nothing. And what's probably really frustrating is that people always believe I just have all this time and that because I have all this time, they can just call me whenever to run errands and and do things for them and not that i have a problem with that i love helping people it's not a problem the problem is don't just assume that i didn't have plans or that i didn't have anything else to do or that i'm just at your beck and call because i'm not it would be nice to have a little notice like hey can you blank 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 for me the, on this day if not, please let me know. Like, not, hey, this needs to be done, like, in the next hour. Can you go do this? Or, I have an appointment at this time. Can you come pick me up right now? Like, I need to be there in 20 minutes, knowing that it's going to take me 20 minutes to get to you. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't get my family sometimes. But what's probably the craziest thing out, out of all of this is that people think I just sit at home. And that I don't do anything. And then at the end of the day, I have to hear, so what did you do all day? What do you mean? People just believe that, like, I have nothing else to do. And if I'm on my computer, obviously, I'm, like, wasting time. No, I couldn't be possibly filling out job applications or trying to edit a video. Because I really love doing YouTube and I would really love to get paid to do YouTube, you know. A little extra money pay off my student loans you know no I couldn't possibly be doing anything productive other than sitting on my computer and doing nothing obviously like nothing so obviously I just don't do anything with my time but sit and do any nothing but I'm at the mall right now because one of those errands came up that people just feel like I have all this free time to do the only plus out of this is that I got Chipotle. But now I'm behind on my schedule and I have to leave in a couple of hours to go do the thing that I have to do that is has happened. My most favorite thing in life. I'm really thinking that I would just go get me some Chipotle on my birthday and that's gonna be like my special thing to do. And of course, I got my favorite drink right now, which is Mellow Yellow. It's so good. But yeah, I'm so happy. I got your pop lady. I get to take a little bit of break before I gotta go run some more errands. So our washing machine broke this week and basically because I bought nothing but work clothes last summer and I only have like two pair of regular pants, I had to go to the laundromat and wash our clothes up because I needed something to wear the next day when our washing machine was getting fixed. Hey my beautiful people, so it is Friday. I have an interview today but it does not feel like it. I feel like... I'm very happy and very blessed that I have interviews coming up, but I'm very stressed out. I don't know. My sister just asked me what I want for my birthday. I hate when people ask me that. I have an interview today. I have the worst anxiety right now. I'm never really nervous or stressed out about an interview. Um... 
but I am about this one and the one that's coming up. So let me tell y'all what happened. Basically, this is the one week, like I said in the previous clip, this is the one week that I actually had something to do. And both times she gave me to interview was around the time that I needed to be doing these other this other thing, right? Well, I had to switch some things around. Luckily, my mom can help me out with the other thing I need to do so I can go and do my interview. So then yesterday, I got a call. And the funny part is, I remember being like, I don't know what, why in my mind this was going on. But I kept feeling like, oh, I might have an interview on my birthday. I don't know why that was like the thing that kept popping up in my head. So yesterday I had, I got a call asking if I could come in on Wednesday, which is my birthday, Thursday or Friday. And I was like, I, I started to say Wednesday, but I was like, no, I'm not going to do that just in case. I didn't want to ruin my birthday just in case I got there and you know how sometimes you go into an interview and you're like, no, this isn't, this isn't a match. You know, it's not going to be, you know, you're not going to get a call back for this. Or if you do, you know, you kind of don't want the position now. And I was like, I don't want to feel like in my feelings or have anxiety on my birthday. So I'm going to wait. And I should have waited to Friday, but at the same time, I didn't want to wait. I'm like, oh, I don't want to wait too long. I just kind of want to get this over with so I did it on Thursday the day after my birthday which wasn't too bad because I really wasn't planning on doing anything for my birthday like I just not in the mood like whatever happens that day happens um but yeah it's like I have really bad anxiety around these two interviews right now I don't know why like, I had to keep reminding myself that I had an interview today. It's it's 10, 11. I literally had to be like, I have an interview today. I have an interview today because my body wants to, like, just forget the fact that I have an interview today because I'm having such bad anxiety that it's like, we're not going to think about the thing that's stressing you out. And normally at this point, I would have done, like, I would have curled my hair and washed my makeup brushes and had my clothes laid out and known exactly what I was going to wear, had my resume and my stuff together, and I don't have any of that. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm procrastinating, and I'm going to procrastinate for the next hour because I said I'm going to sit here. I'm going to journal. I'm going to eat my breakfast, which just so happens to be, like, this little cheese spread stuff and some crackers, um, my munch of lemonade, and... um some water that's what I'm eating for breakfast because I didn't feel like cooking um also I just started reading becoming yesterday so good like the part that I've already read I'm like this is gonna be so good I just kind of want to sit down and just like read my skin is just like peeling all over the place look I have a breakout here a breakout here like this one came up days ago and this one just came today of course of course probably because i'm stressed out and y'all know my skin is getting a little bit better but it's not there nowhere near so yeah the video that i was going to film for my birthday were these braids that i wanted to do um but because i have interviews now and i know braids make me look really young i did not want to do braids especially since this would be my first time doing this style i did not want to do them and then they turned out bad i'm just like what am i supposed to do like i just wanted to go with what i knew um also because i don't want to come across as super young and i like inexperienced so i was like i'll wait but since i have that interview the day after i can't braid my hair into after and that's if I don't get another interview. Like, if I get another interview, I'm going to have to wait again. Which is, it's not frustrating, but it's a little frustrating. Because I was, I've been super excited, y'all. Like, I've been literally wanting to do this hairstyle for over two months. 
and there's there was always something like we went swimming so I didn't want to do them I didn't want to like freshly do my hair because I was originally going to do them for the 4th of July and then I found out we were going swimming so I was like no I don't want to do that and then we go swimming my hair gets wet all over again and then I have to take all this down that I just worked on so I was like what I'll do is I'll wait and then that wait end up being like oh I'm gonna do these for my birthday perfect timing like I just want to literally be able to wake up and not have to really too much think about doing my hair other than maybe like putting in a bun or putting in a ponytail or am I gonna wear it now like I don't want to think too much about it um and then this happened so wig life we will be we will be wigging it until after interviews um so sorry about this this brightness over here um i finished my interview i feel like it went good um like i said i have another video next another interview next week um i feel like it went well but i'm really nervous all at the same time i don't know whether this is a good nervous or a bad nervous but i feel like my anxiety has been on 20 for the longest it's like freaking me out because there are so many people sitting out front of this building it looks very suspicious anyway i um i'm just kind of freaking out like i have bad anxiety I need to just know what a month from now looks like. I don't know. Because my birthday is next week. And that brings me anxiety because I have the interview the next day. I got to go run an errand on Monday that I really don't want to have to be the one to run it. Like, I'm just, uh, Like, I just I need to space out and get away. I need to be in a bubble. <sighs> So we are back to school shopping. Y'all like my bump? I forgot to. I fell asleep before I could clean my face. Like I just laid in bed. I wasn't supposed to be going to sleep and then I fell asleep. So yeah. This is cute. That's the one she wanted, but we don't like clear black pack. She has one though. Quinn bought her one. I was just gonna say, that'd be so cute for Buddha. This itty bitty, tiny bitty. That's not the point. <laughs> Paw Patrol. For Poda, though. Put some diapers in the outfit. I know snacks. That's a giraffe. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. We'll get out the way because I'm getting hit by the basket. I said, let me get out the way because I'm getting hit by the basket. Where get you? We need pet for the You did roll right into the side of me. Where are Target? Where Why are Target? Why does the roll always have the same color? I don't know. Uh, they probably, yeah. World, okay, <laughs> student. I just bought me a backpack with a string to the back of the young people. Why are we moving? How much is it, Quay? How much is it? What is it? Oh. Maybe I should zoom out. I <laughs> forgot what I was doing. What is this? Oh, that's cute. Yeah, there are so many people in Target. Hmm. I know that Walmart or the mall, it was so many people. Get inside the bathroom and get out my nerves. I'm just trying to get in the basket. No, I was standing right here. Like, in the basket. <laughs> what did you say? Get inside the basket. Get out of here. I used to sit right here. Girl, you were trying to get slowly in the basket. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
What's going on with the top of my hair right now? Miracle style revenge. I hate lotion. It smells like nothing. It really smells like nothing. I don't mind it for when I go to sleep, though. Like, it's not that it smells like nothing. It's just like. Smell like lotion. I don't. I don't know how to explain. It smells like water mixed with something. Yeah. Mm. It's fragrance free. Though. Oh, it's fragrance free. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Natural oatmeal and roots. I don't know. It smell like glue to me. <laughs> <laughs> I slick miss back to school shopping, but at the same time, I do not. 